Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. The subject of this video is Poland will be under occupation, cultural occupation, and will get in trouble. And a second one in general terms, when you bring in a high volume of individuals belonging to a group, especially due to a crisis, you bring in problems they bring in from that particular place. Now, I have here an article from Ukrainska Pravda, which is portrayed, the title, as a fantastic achievement. Let me read it for you. Ukrainska Pravda. Ukrainians have registered nearly 8,000 companies and over 50,000 individual businesses in Poland since 2022. Now, this is portrayed as C, which I'm pretty sure they are. Ukrainians are hardworking people, entrepreneurs, and they don't stay in Poland on the Poles' taxes. They're not a burden, they create. All right, to a certain extent, that's fantastic. I wish they are successful. But my concern here is this. All these guys, these guys decided to change something here. These guys who now are, you know, starting businesses, when they will succeed in Poland, right? Let's say some of them become millionaires, maybe billionaires. They will hate a certain kind of country for the reason why they are in a foreign country. What do you think they will do? Love Russia? Let's say a five billionaires of Ukrainian origin in Poland will get in, in politics, will start NGOs a la George Soros. Do you think that they will see Russia with, hey, baby doll, or they want a payback now? And who are they going to use? The country they are, they belong to. Now, their children will do the same thing. I'm generalizing. I will give you some examples. Many people who emigrated, left, for instance, the Tsarist Russia and the Soviet Union, let's put it, the Russian part of the Soviet Union, they left, they fled. And I'm talking about certain groups that were allowed to leave, and they went mainly to three locations, which are Canada, United States of America, and in the Middle East. Now, those guys who led, who fled, who left Russia or Soviet Union for various reasons, obviously have a sour taste of the Russians or the Russians in the Soviet Union. I will give you some examples. Are you familiar with, let me give you here, Penny Pritzker family? Now we have, it's Pritzker family and Penny Pritzker that was appointed by the Biden administration as United States Secretary of Commerce. She is the one. If you look at Mrs. Pritzker's past, you're going to find it somewhere in the vicinity of Ukraine, Russia area, the family. Now, are you familiar with Victoria Newland, Under Secretary of the United States of America? She is from the same area. Are you familiar with Cynthia Freeland? She is, again, is the Canadian politician. She is Deputy Prime Minister of Canada. All these three people that I mentioned, don't view Russia with beautiful eyes. Why? Because their families left those places because bad things happened to them. Probably, possibly. But now, Cynthia is in Canada. The other two are in the United States of America. High up. High up. What do you think? Why do you think Canada, and I'm, again, I'm overemphasizing or I'm generalizing, you have individuals in government that have a payback towards someone. I will give you an example, personal example. I left Romania on my own choice, but I couldn't live here. I'm in Romania right now. I couldn't live here. Why? Three reasons. One, it was a change of culture or at least a certain kind of subculture becoming the dominant culture. And I said, I and my future family will not be like that and being um, educated in this kind of environment. First, 
and a, which are two actually and the third one would be which one when I saw who is in charge of this country I said no too many of them too many of them now I left if I let's say become a billionaire all right not millionaire billionaire so if I would become a billionaire what do you think I will do how do you think I would teach my children to view the guys in charge of Romania right now because I don't think they are the right people why <laughs> I don't think so I would do anything I can legal to help the Romanians get rid of garbage that's what I would do now imagine that I get in politics and I get very high up in the US Department of State a point that not elected I don't care being elected or not just so you know what I need or what people need is power regardless how you get it legally what do you think I would do the same look at the Iranians many Iranians left in 1979 1980 they fled the Khomeini when he was brought from Paris into Tehran many of them are still living here and they want to return and some of them cannot but they don't like what's going on over there they don't like the the political and the social development of that country and they work hard some of them in the diaspora to change that why and their children and their, their children and so on they will say those guys did us wrong why on the Shah time right Pahlavi Reza Pahlavi they were doing just fine they liked it when the other guys came they fled that's happening again happened in the past now you have the Ukrainians I meet you a lot of people speaking Ukrainians when I go to the mall when I go on the street in Romania right now in Bucharest and I'm told by people it's full of them they don't look at them as hey yeah come over Red Rover because they're bad people yeah I, I'm surrounded by bad people but remember these guys that right now are building and starting businesses in Poland they bring with them I'm not gonna say hatred but very much dislike and payback towards the those guys over there why because they blame those guys like I blame the guys who did what they did to Romania for me leaving this country it was a voluntary so I say I left but hey it was thinking too much who brought the stench so yes I blame them I could have stayed here and be a little teacher here and pa -pa -ra -pa -ra -pa and rub shoulders with these guys and be pushed around and stay in line a Romanian kind of line not one two three like <clears throat> that's a Romanian line direct experience <laughs> when I was a child I saw that I saw that here right now at the mall they still don't know to stay in line it shouldn't happen like that in a mall because they're very nice dressed very nice dressed Romanians you look the mall you look go on the street they're very nice dressed I like that very nice dressed but if you strip them and you say hey talk you don't find that you find their they're dressed nicely but inside they are the same guys I left decades ago so yeah celebrate the Ukrainians opening businesses Ukrainska Pravda those will be the fifth column in the in those countries and not only there in Germany they will become millionaires and they will become and they will influence and it's gonna be hatred towards they will become teachers they will become Minister of Education and they will change the curriculum they will change history and they will how t history was taught and they will hate those guys so remember education starts with children how you educate the children to love and what to love and what to hate the children will become adults what do you think are Sunday school you get the children into Sunday school when the children don't even know shit because it's gonna be hard for a child to get rid of that when he be the child becomes an adult and think for himself say whoa whoa wait a second no wait le let me reevaluate cannot it's harder not impossible harder indoctrination what do you think we have the we had the Hitler Jungen for the same reason and what did he say those guys look his at uh, his testament those guys will do it again but they didn't they I think he uh, he didn't realize how much power that group had and the Hitler Jungen when they became adults had to stay where they were staying so let's read a little bit this article and see what how these guys look at it 
Ukrainian citizens have established nearly 8,000 small and medium-sized companies and more than 50,000 have registered as sole proprietors in Poland since the start of the Russian full-scale aggression in February 2022. Productive members of society. But they bring luggage, baggage with them. Why? They left because of the Russians invaded, not because NATO brought its garbage next to Russia. No, no, no. Because of the Russians' illegal, uh, un, uh, how do you call it, uh, blah, 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 invasion, unprovoked. So, let's see what else we have here. Over 8,000, pa, 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 And these guys are supposed to celebrate. Don't celebrate, my uh, uh, Polish friends. Don't celebrate. This is what you should do. Like the others, like others who got poor Ukrainians in need. I would make sure they go all back after the war is over. And before I do that, I have to make sure that the war ends yesterday. Yesterday. And I will make sure that all these guys with their little businesses, all of them will go over there. Do you remember the Olympics? It was 1974, 73 in München, Germany. Remember that? What happened over there in Munich? Remember? München. <laughs> what happened? People with their problems from outside of Germany brought their problems in München and we had that imbecilic terrorist attack. And what followed? Why? What if, let's say, the Germans would have said, you know what, the Olympics are just among us. You just stay out. You are... No, you stay out. Now, I picked that one because it was too easy. It was too easy. But that's what happens. That's what happens. So, yes, these guys there over there with, I, I don't know, I think there are more than a million in Poland. I know that's about one million in Romania or something. Now, those guys will have children or already have, and they will tell their children the reason why their understanding left the country. Not because Zelensky did not follow the Minsk Agreement 2, which was international law, because it was at the United Nations, Security Council voted for it. No, no, no. Not because of that. No. It was the good guy. How can he be bad? We got Cynthia Newland, we got Pritzker, and we got uh, Victoria Newland. And we got, uh, just to mention three, just to mention three, you find many of these guys. Remember, some of these guys, when they left their families, it was either the Soviet Union or the Tsarist regime. Soviet Union had Russia in it, and Ukraine in it, and so on. So when they left, they left, and in the Soviet Union, these guys were riding very high. They left, that's awful. But now, if they can, they will pay back with your children, your taxes, things that you have nothing against them. Why do you think Canada is so upset with, with, with Canada, with, with Russia? Is it because the Canadians hate the Russians? No, I don't think so. Is because other people in power hate the Russians for past events. Remember, Poland is going to come to you sooner or later. And Romania as well. You're not too many Romanians. are like, what, 17 million now from 23 million? You're 17 million. What do you think they will do? So accept all these guys with their problems in your house and they will make sure they will use your resources to fix their problems. Payback. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.